Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video, and today I'll be taking a quick look at some new props that I'll be testing out in this video, and they are the DAL prop uh, Q5040, as you can see there. So they are 5 inches with 4 inches of pitch, and they are quad blades. That's the biggest thing. You can see I have four different colors on here. I bought a, a bunch of sets of these from Pyroflip RC because they had them on sale for $2 a set at the time. And now it's previously using HQ 5040 tries, so basically these are 5040 quads. And for my motors, uh, let's get up here, they are the Emax Red Bottoms RS2205 2300 KV with um, little B 20 amp speed controllers on there with an X Racer F303 battery, or not battery, flight controller on there. And I have a 4S 1300 graphene um, battery on there. Um, I don't have my run cam on the time, uh, at the time, just to save a little bit more weight, and I was taking some files off of it. So I'll do a quick little line of sight test for you, as well as then we'll uh, get the uh, goggles on. Um, well, you won't. You'll see the run cam footage, and I'll just fly around. And I have been testing these out for about the past week, so I do have more experience than just these. But I thought I'd show you them, so let's get the camera on my head. Okay, let's get the battery uh, plugged in here. Oops, I forgot to turn my radio on, actually. There's a spider Welcome on it. So let's, uh, okay, I'm already set up there on the right profile. So let's get my strap on there. My head. And let's start out here. I have been getting, um, I'll just leave a three-minute timer here. However, I have been getting about four minutes line of sight flights, but I'll talk about more of that. So it's arm. Start, well, I won't turn my timer yet. Um, and just so you know, I am running, um, Pretty low loop times on this, so very agile response. So I am in full acro mode, no self leveling. Just fly around, um, just so you can hear. At um, this is a new set of props. I made sure to change them out, um, but they are very durable. But you can hear at low throttle, they are quite quiet. And they have a nice sound to them. That's what they sound full throttle. You can see they sound pretty sick. Full speed passes. There we go. And now as for top speed, I believe um, it kind of makes sense. Um, four blades has less speed than three because once it gets up to that full RPM, the motor just can't keep it going like a three blade can. And same with a two. But the biggest advantage is the cornering. And you, you feel it in uh, FPV. It's just like, I've had a bunch of people tell me the analogy of it's like going from two blades to three blade props once again. And I think that's kind of true. It just flies so nice. Um, I think there might be a little bit more prop wash oscillations, so you have to lower your P gains just a little bit. But I've got it fairly well tuned. You do need a little bit different tune. So let's just do some line of sight power loops. Still working on getting these down FPV. Can't quite get the backwards motion. You can see they just look awesome. They sound awesome. I just, I'm really liking these props. And unlike the HQ um, versions, they are very durable. Obviously they're DALs. Um, I don't have the HQ5040 quad blades to try, but uh, everyone was talking about these, so I thought I would give them a try. Let's do some inverted hang time. That's pretty fun to do FPV. I don't know. Oh, I didn't start my timer. I forgot to do that. But uh, they might have a little bit more punch, a little kick just at the beginning. But uh, like I said, top speed is probably down. Um, but I just really like them. And they look so cool on the ground. As well as having a bunch of colors. There's tons of colors. You can like four different colors like I have, I think looks awesome in the air. Try and get close to the camera.
a little bit lower top speed. All right, I think that was good enough. The bugs are starting to come out. So let's uh, just catch it in my hand here. So there we go. That was the quick line of sight flight of the DAL Q5040. And now I have some thoughts about the amp draw. Um, it definitely is a little bit higher amp draw, say, than a three or two blade. I'm going to say there's more weight here and it's just a lot more grab in the air. But since there's four blades in the corners, it just bites the air better and it just turns way better. So for smoother freestyle, this is really good. Um, but I found that I'm getting actually maybe a little bit more efficiency if you stay low end throttle, like a calm line of sight flight. I've been getting maybe four to five minutes. Um, but definitely if you're punching hard, you're only going to get two, two minutes, two, three minutes, something like that. So um, I'll do, I'll show you some quick uh, FPV footage, another pack, and then I'll come back and, you know, finish up my thoughts on these. Okay, here we are back again after that uh, line of, or not line of sight, the FPV flight that I just showed you there. And all I can say is I, I really recommend these props. I think they're great. Um, they're not for everybody. You are gonna lose top speed. So if you're looking at a course, maybe that's a uh, full open straight stretches, you know, where you need that speed, two blades might even be your best option. Um, but here, if you're looking at a really tight track where you need to be careful, we're doing some maybe proximity line of sight. They're just so smooth and they feel great flying. Um, so these might be that and three blades I think is kind of the middle ground so I might I think I'll be keeping these um, four blades on just because I have a bunch of them and they're really durable I love the look and I just pretty much like everything about them so far um, like I said I got them for two dollars a set uh, sorry for the wind buffeting here but I got two dollars a set at Pyro Flip RC I bought them because they're on sale um, they're usually about four dollars a set so not too bad of props um, for the money I'd say they're great. So that was the end of the video. Please subscribe if you want already. And any of you have tried these out, leave your thoughts down below. Um, I know a lot of people like them, but you know, feel free to share if you know some of the mechanics or physics of why stuff happens different with these and three blades. Share it below. I'd love to hear it. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.